welcome back everybody. I am in Vegas right now and decided that this weekend um, that I was going to, I was actually going to go to Lake Tahoe, but then decided that it just was probably going to be a little too far of a drive. It was like, I looked, it was like an eight hour drive right now. And I was like, that's uh, that's a little too long right now. So, um, and I'm, I'm not planning to go up toward any farther north than that until a little bit later in the summer. So I ended up deciding that I was like, what could I go to that's not too far? I was thinking about going to California. I just want to get away from the heat. It's actually like ridiculously hot. I mean, I know it's Vegas. It's always hot. I've lived here on and off for 15 years, but it's, uh, it's been like oppressive. Like it's been 115, 117 right around there. And so uh, today it's not that bad. It's a hundred it was 106 a minute ago. And so just decided that I was like, you know what? It's just too hot. I, I want to get out of town. And so I'm going to head to, I looked and I was like, you know what? How about people during the winter? I always go to Mount Charleston to go skiing. So I'm like, how far is that? Away? I'm like, that's only like 30 minutes away. So I look on, uh, go on Google and I'm like Mount Charleston weather, 71 degrees right now. I'm like what? So I uh, decided that's where I'm going. So I looked up some camp spots, t not a ton, but there's like a handful of really good ones uh, right around there. And so I'm going to try a few of them. Now it's Friday afternoon, probably not gonna get any uh, this late in the day uh, going into the weekend, but I'm gonna try to wake up, uh, I'll probably just like maybe find some like BLM land around there, or I don't even know, even like a hotel or, or uh, a truck stop parking lot or something like that but uh, then tomorrow morning I'll wake up like super early like 5 30 6 and then I'll go and I'll go to like three or four different campgrounds and I'll look to see if I can get uh, a spot at one of those or I'll just look for some spots that uh, aren't at campgrounds that are just like public land that are just like out there as long as I don't have to off-road too much then I'm fine with that. So I don't want to get too crazy with the off-roading, but if it's like, you know, like a dirt road, some bumps and stuff, I'm cool with that. Uh, as you saw a few videos ago, when I was coming through Colorado, going into Utah, I stopped at some BLM land and went to a campsite there. And that was, that was about as off-road as I need to go. So I'm going to drive there. It's about 30 minutes away. Um, the weather is, let's see, at least 30 to 35 degrees cooler. Uh, I cannot wait for that. So uh, I'm gonna go there and just uh, try to figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the weekend. I'm not really worried about tonight, um, but I will. I think there's like a like a ski lodge type thing up there. I'll probably go there because I know they have a restaurant uh, and a bar and stuff, and I'll just go there and, and ask around, like you know where to go, what places to to check out, things like that. So. Uh, any trails that I should be hiking and uh, stuff like that. So, so it says I have 89%, 90% now, 20 minutes remaining to 100%, but I probably will only stay around another five or 10 minutes. 90, 95% will be plenty. And uh, that should last me probably the weekend. And uh, it's probably about 35 degrees cooler in Mount Charleston, only 30 minutes away from Vegas. So I know like a lot of people during the winter don't realize that you can ski 30 minutes away from the strip. So uh, we'll be heading there. It was 71 degrees. It is 105 degrees here right now. So I uh, cannot wait to get out of this heat and uh, just relax and hopefully find a campsite tonight. But most likely we'll just have to figure something out for tonight and then tomorrow we'll try to get into uh, a campground probably early in the morning. So I'll keep you updated. Otherwise, uh, as soon as uh, I get there, I'll probably shoot another video and uh, update you then. All right, so just leaving the Grand Central Parkway Supercharger here in Las Vegas and headed to Mount Charleston, Nevada. Actually only about 30, it says 43 minutes, that's because of traffic, but usually about 30 minutes away. And ski area uh, it is 105 degrees in Vegas right now which is actually kind of cool compared to last week uh, where it was 116 117 and then we get to Mount Charleston it will be 71 degrees so 30 40 minutes away huge difference as far as uh, its temperature it's an I-15 north uh, kind of like North Las Vegas area just getting out of town, uh, says I have 30 minutes to the campground that I'm gonna first try to go to in Mount Charleston. All right, we're taking Kyle Canyon Road and then off to the left up here. 
And yeah, I saw somebody say even like a month ago there was still snow up there. I don't think there is anymore because it's like in the 70s, but um, definitely going to be a lot cooler. In 500 feet, turn left onto Kyle Canyon Road. Now turn left onto Kyle Canyon Road. Yeah, we're 20 minutes away and, you know, I was just right by the Bellagio like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> so. No gas available on mountain. Guess what? That's okay. And I have 82%, uh, so should have plenty. And guess what? I'm 30 minutes, not even 30 minutes from a charger if I need one. So, oh, can't wait to get out of this heat. It's currently 99. 15 minutes ago on the strip, it was 106. So we're slowly going up. It's already, uh, temperature's already dropping. Yeah, it just said uh, elevation 3,000 feet. So it's already, uh, yeah, and it's already 90. It's dropping like every minute. It's dropping a degree. Some of this might actually be some BLM land here on the right. I'll have to check. I'm not sure. I'll have to ch check uh, Campendium because a lot of those have then areas where you can uh, just pull off the road and there'll be like a little camp area and you can just camp there. It's free. So it might end up doing something like that tonight. Apparently next six miles, there's, what is that? A donkey? That <laughs> looked like a donkey. Maybe goats? Mountain goats? I don't know. That looks like a donkey to me, but donkey or a goat, I don't know. You tell me what was on that sign. Like there's some uh, campgrounds just here on the left. Yep, some RVs over there. This is the one I was gonna check out. Fletcher View Campground. Now turn left onto Kyle Canyon Camp. Campground full. So, that's not going to work. Alright, so let's try to figure this out here. Alright, so I decided to keep going. That Those campgrounds are all full back there. Decided to keep going up a little bit. It is uh, now 75 degrees out. It was 106, 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just so fascinated by that. Three tenths of a mile. Mount Charleston Lodge is on the left here. So I think that's where I'm gonna go and just try to figure things out from there. Bunch of little cabins up here and stuff. Yeah, I might actually just go here and grab some dinner. All right, so I got here to Mar Mount Charleston Lodge and Cabins. Uh, it's only about 30, 35 minutes from Bellagio. Crazy, but man, it's 73 degrees out compared to 106.
Look at that. Then got a little uh, lodge over here, which I will be eating at right now. And then from there, kind of just deciding uh, what I want to do for the night. Catch up with in a minute. So I just had a really good burger at the lodge, which is um, the top of, uh, or I guess about halfway up Mount Charleston. And now I'm gonna go try to track down a couple campsites and see if there there is anything. All right, so I'm gonna try this place called Hilltop. So it's about uh, seven minutes away. Man, it's so nice out. 69 degrees right now. <laughs> like, oh, it's so nice. Gotta pull over and take a quick picture. All right, so uh, how about that view? Right? Crazy, and it's like in the 60s right now. Hopefully can find something here quick because it's uh, already seven o'clock. As you can see, the sun is going down. Although I think I probably still have daylight, a little bit of daylight until like eight. All right, coming over the top of the mountain here. 65 degrees, holy crap, can't see anything. <laughs> Wow, that's some intense sun there. Literally straight on with it. Can't see anything. Campground. Okay, so this is that campground coming up here a quarter mile on the right. Hilltop Campground, Juniper Trailhead, yeah. See if they got anything. <clears throat> Doubtful, but we'll see. Uh, let's see here. Is there any way to figure out if it's full or just drive around? Or? We're full. Is it? Yeah, I figured, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Any suggestions? Any public land? Yeah. That's what I'm planning to do. Where can I sleep till then? You can join us. I don't care. I really don't. Go to uh, disperse camping, which yeah. is no no wood or charcoal fires, obviously. Yeah. Stage one. Yeah. That'd be champion. Okay. You know, you're familiar? I'm not familiar, but I did look it up on like Campendium, and I saw a couple of them that said disperse. Oh, champion. It's, it's kind of a Deer Creek Road. Uh, there's Max Canyon, so when you get to yep. Junction, turn right, and then okay. Obviously. Left. So, so champion, and then Max. Max. Okay. And there's, awesome. And there's also Blue Tree, just past yep. Sawmill. Okay. And it's that one sign. The only one that doesn't sign is Champion. Gotcha. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Super nice guys. Uh, if I still drank, I probably would have joined, taken that guy up on his offer. They had a huge group of people. It's a cool spot. I mean, these are great little spots. I'm definitely going to come up here again. Uh, in the morning, he said to come back around 9. I'm literally going to come up here all the time. There's so many cool spots. And if I would have got here in the morning on like a Friday, I would have easily probably got a spot. Because everything here is first come, first serve too. So I will be coming back in the morning.
Pretty nice, man. Definitely be coming back to this one. One thing I do have to look at, battery. I'm, only, I'm already at 55%. Driving up and down all these uh, canyons and stuff. Yeah, like that guy found a spot just on the side of the road right there. Like, I don't know if you can park at these spots. I don't think so, but... <clears throat> How's it going? How you guys doing? Did you see any spots back there or anything? You know what? We're not too far in, so I don't know what. Walking up this way, there's not any. Okay. But, but you know, have you been back in there? No. There's a hill. Once you start going up the hill, we're right at the bottom of the hill, so it goes quite a bit farther in. Do you know if it's uh, it's not like off roading? A little bit, yeah. Oh, a little bit. I just saw a minivan go through. Okay. So I was kind of surprised. But yeah. I don't know that I would. I mean, that's a beautiful car. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a lot of places to turn around if you get. Okay, cool. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. All right. Back to slight off roading. If I could find a spot back here, I got plenty of supplies and stuff. And again, I just want to find something for tonight, because then tomorrow in the morning, I'm going to snag one of those campsites. Is that a spot? Okay. Well, <laughs> this is probably a little more than I wanted. It's not too bad. I'm getting a little worried, though. So I'm going to have to turn around if it gets any worse. Yeah, this is getting a little worse than I wanted. <laughs> I feel like there's spots right here. Yeah, it's just right back here. Should be good to go. Probably gonna have to go up on uh, blocks here just to even it out, but otherwise, looks good. I'll show it to you in a minute. Well, we're here. Um, I have no idea where here is, but we're we're at a BLM uh, side of the road. You just kind of like go through these mazes back here, and you just park wherever you can park. And and so I found something. It's good enough till tomorrow. Uh, I do not have any service. No, nope, unfortunately, no service, which is pretty typical. But uh, cool little place to camp till tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'll wake up early in the morning, head through some of those campgrounds, specifically the hilltop one, and I'm gonna look for a place there. Uh, you know, there's a few better sites. I'm just not even gonna worry about it. I found one, so it's good enough. I'll probably show you with the camera outside a little bit too. All right, so got to the campground. Well, dispersed camping. I found a camp spot, I should say. And as you can see, kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. There's other people, I can hear some people over there and there's probably about up the hill to the right, there's probably about hmm, 20, 20 different campers and it's free. It's just a public BLM land. And to even it out, you can see I just got it up on blocks right there. So, there you go. And uh, kind of show you the area here. Totally wooded, perfectly quiet. I'll be able to uh, sleep nicely and it's about 65 degrees. So it's amazing. And literally 40 minutes away in Las Vegas, it's you know over a hundred. So yeah, this works great. Easy to get around back here and the off-road part wasn't too bad. It was probably about the most I want to go, but yeah, it was great. So. to 
see what it looks like when it's all ready to go. Uh, these will go up on the windows, although I don't need them there right, right now. So yeah, that's what it'll look like. And uh, it's totally level. I've slept in it many times now. It's fantastic. All right, so I definitely turned off sentry mode because I'm already down to 55%. So I just went into settings, safety and security, scroll down to sentry mode and just turn that off. I don't need that on when I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. And it you know it takes up about, I don't know, 1% per hour or probably, I don't know, probably not that much, but a little less than that. So it's just not worth it right now and uh, don't need it on. So that'll save me. And in fact, I don't even know if I need camp mode on because it's going to be in the probably the high 40s, low 50s tonight. So uh, not even sure. I'll probably still turn it on, but it won't have to work very hard. That's for sure. But uh, yeah, the place is great right here. So other than that, the camp spot is perfect for the night. Uh, like I said, I'll wake up early and try to go scout out another place um, nearby, that hilltop campground, and hopefully snag one of those tomorrow. So earlier when I was saying that I might not turn on camp mode, that's not possible because to have the uh, refrigerator going, I have to have camp mode on. So, because the, the car has to stay awake, basically. So if you, uh, if I climb it you can see i have camp mode turned on and uh have it coming out the back and the front and it's set at 67 degrees and so i gotta keep it around there just to for the, even though it's probably about the same outside i gotta keep it on because i that's the only way to keep my my food um from going bad so gotta keep that on otherwise uh yeah, I got 54%. We'll see what it is in the morning. It's only 846. I'm already, as you can see, I already got all the windows up and everything. And so it's pretty dark in here. And uh, I'm probably just going to watch a movie. There's no cell service here, but I do plan on, I, I downloaded some movies and stuff like that. So if I just watch a movie, fall asleep, set my alarm for, I don't know, maybe around 637 and then head up to that hilltop campground that I went to earlier and hopefully can snag a spot there. But uh, this ended up working out perfect for what I needed, which is just a place to stay, uh, the no cost, and these are all over the country. So pretty, uh, pretty glad that they're around. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit. Forgot to mention too, when you turn on camp mode, once it starts to go to sleep, right before that for about 15 minutes, it'll uh, play this little campfire for you. So that's kind of cool, nice little touch. All right, so this is the setup I had for last night. Just had it up on a few blocks on the left side here. And uh, worked out great. No problems last night, slept like a baby. And now off to try to find uh, a regular campsite at uh, this hilltop place. It's about uh, 8 a.m. right now. All right, so as you can see here, we have 46%. It's about 8, 8, 8.15 in the morning and uh, 74 degrees out. So it w when I went to bed last night, it had about, or when I got here, I guess it had about 54%. So lost about 8%. So yeah, you're looking at about 1% hmm, or slightly under uh, per hour. And so just kind of gonna need to plan on that. So once I find a camp spot today, uh, hopefully I can find one, then I will, you know, put my stuff, put a few things there. And then I'll probably run back to town at, to Vegas and charge um, just to get like, just to top off. So, cause I don't know, cause if it's, you know, I mean, I could definitely stay tonight, but I'm not sure about tomorrow night too. So it might, might just be worth just running back and charging. It's only about a 30 minute drive. So, all right, well, good morning. I head back to that hilltop campground, see if I can get a place there. My battery is about to die. So I am going to probably not be able to film much of this, but we are gonna try to get out of here in one piece. But yeah, slowly getting out of here. People behind me are almost walking as fast as I'm going. Campsite was great. 
I mean, it wasn't like great if I was gonna stay for multiple days and I wanted scenery. I would have had to hike a little bit to get some scenery, but it did its purpose. I mean, I got in right before dark and then ended up sleeping about seven hours, eight hours. And, uh, and I was able to make it a nice flat area. So that yeah, worked out. All right, back on pavement and headed off to the hilltop campground to uh, try to snag a spot. Hopefully she get Sirs back here shortly too. You can see the views over here. Pretty amazing. Yeah, elevation 8,000 feet. Too much time, but cannot miss this morning. Yeah, it's like I don't know, probably about 70 degrees right now, if that. And just got service back too. All right, so good morning and welcome to Mount Charleston, uh, Nevada, I guess. It's uh, just outside about 35 minutes or so outside of Las Vegas. And uh, look at these views, just amazing. And like I said, this is 35 minutes from Bellagio. So you cannot go wrong here. Um, I'm probably gonna try to snag a spot at this other campground called Hilltop. And uh, hopefully they told me to come back around nine, it's about 8.20 right now. So I'm gonna go a little early, see what I can find and uh, go from there but I'll keep you guys posted hopefully I can get a spot there for the next two nights and uh, just enjoy this beautiful scenery also quickly just wanted to talk about the camp mode as I mentioned earlier you saw that it used about eight percent in about eight hours last night so that's pretty much on par with what I've been getting before and so uh, if you if you want to camp um, obviously you're probably gonna go do stuff during the day. You probably don't need to have climate control or camp mode on then. Um, but if you are, you know, sleeping overnight and stuff like that, or if you have things plugged in like I do with a fridge freezer, you will have to keep camp mode on. It basically keeps the car awake and that will um, ensure that everything is being powered in the car uh, as well as obviously your climate control. So yeah, look at about 1% per hour and just kind of plan, you know, accordingly around that. So yeah, it was great. Had a great night's sleep, kept it at about 68 degrees and uh, just loved it. So Tesla's working out great so far for camping. I uh, even do a little bit of slight off-roading, which I did last night and you saw in a couple videos ago. All right, so it's 8.45 and I am back at the Hilltop campground. So wish me luck. Fingers crossed, I uh, find a spot. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, 8.47 right now. So hoping this is around perfect timing, but it's also Saturday, so I don't know how many people just came for like a night, but we'll see. All right, so uh, it took about approximately 10 seconds to find a spot at the campground. I'm not kidding. I pull in and I'm right there by the uh, little area where you, where you, you know, put the money in the box and stuff like that and there's a couple that's packing up their car right across from it and i'm like hey you don't happen to be leaving today are you she's like we actually are she's like do you want to take our spot and literally 30 seconds the first spot right across from where you check in um so that's awesome and i don't know there might be some better spots on that side but you can't risk it i can always uh, park in this one and then take a lap around and walk around and see what I can find if there's a better spot But I think it's actually pretty good So who cares you can always just walk or at least I have a spot and then I can go explore and then come back But I'll also probably just take it because then I can go charge because I'm down to what 42% right now And that was pretty much from just driving around yesterday And then going up and down the hills and not really having a place and it was just driving around Whereas normally if I have a place, I can just drive here and I probably would have about 20, 25% more. But really good, uh, found a place in literally the first 10 seconds of looking. So can't beat that. So 
going to charge up the shower with the Jackery. So uh, pretty easy. It just comes with it comes with a 12 volt or just a regular AC adapter. So we'll just plug this in the back here. And then this just goes into the Jackery over here. And charge it up. It's currently uh, it's outputting 13 watts right now, so not much, and uh, it should probably just take, I don't know, maybe a half hour, 45 minutes, and that thing will be totally charged up. So then up here, I'll show you. I love these campsites because they have it's all concrete. You have a pad up here for a tent. Obviously, I don't need that because I'm sleeping in the Tesla. But uh, nice, completely flat. And then over here, I've just started to set up this. So I'll use the Jackery to cook some stuff in a little bit. I have the air fryer as well. And then this is the shower slash bathroom. And that's where all that stuff will go. And uh, then use the water from right there, seven gallon jug. And that will feed into the shower and that'll just uh just pull off of that and yeah can't beat it got the bathroom and uh, a shower right here all right so just made the bed up and uh i usually end up having the jackery like right here in the corner at night i might end up putting it on the floor but it's so nice to be able to just reach it and if i need to plug anything in like the laptop at night or anything like that or your phone um you can see cat mode on there the front right now i forget always that i have to keep camp mode on because i have the the fridge freezer so i'm going to use some more battery but i'm probably going to run into town and charge tonight or this afternoon and uh probably do that actually in the next hour it's uh, 10 a.m right now so yeah that's how it looks and that's yeah, great it's a but a four inch mattress there's two mattresses there's a two inch pillow top and then a two inch kind of like a workout thick workout type mat and it fits perfectly and uh, the two inch memory foam one is the test mat which I'll be doing a review on coming up in the next uh, few weeks all right so if you wanted to know how the bathroom here works pretty simple let me widen the shot here that really just the cover doesn't do anything you put a bag they have these special biodegradable bags for camping so if you bury them or anything like that they're uh you know they'll just dissolve into the earth and then you guys got this little plastic piece here take that off put the bag on secure that on and then you put this little solution too in there so it uh solidifies everything in there turns it into regular waste so you can actually just dispose of that into regular trash and that's pretty much it and then as you can see i got a seven gallon jug this cell, this seven gallon jug is actually I use for cooking and for uh, the regular water and stuff out here. But right now I'm just using it in here as a weight. And then uh, in here, just have that. This is that uh, little powder stuff that you just put in. You put it in one packet each time and then toilet paper and that's you're good to go they do have bathroom facilities here uh like kind of outhouse type things so i might just use those normally but if it's late at night or something like that and i need to go to the bathroom at least i have it here and then the shower will go in here as well and it'll just hang from right up here and it's electric powered so it's pretty close to the same pressure you get at your house and i'd say an average shower takes about two and a half three gallons and so uh, out of one of these, I probably get, I'd say, two to three showers. Uh, you know, you could, I could definitely get four showers between these two. But, um, yeah, I'll probably do it when it cools down a little bit a little bit later. It's only 75 now, but when it cools down to probably, like, this evening, maybe down into, like, the 60s, then I'll come up here and jump in the shower real quick before dinner. And, uh, yeah, it works out great. At least it's convenient if you ever do need to just run to the bathroom real quick. So, otherwise... Got my cooking stuff set up here, little chair. There is a no fire ban in effect right now, so can't use these uh, for cooking anyways. And then as you can see over there, 
there's the pad if you had a tent where most people would put their tent. I don't need to use it because I'm sleeping in the Tesla. So you can see down here, I really like this campground. The way it's laid out is like super nice and super thing like that. And uh, yeah, just a great overall campground. Got the Jackery plugged into the solar panels. Getting about 180, I think about 180 watts in right now. The Jackery over there, with some cooking stuff. Then got the bathroom slash shower, which I'll show you in a second. And then just some cooking stuff and a seven gallon jug of water. Nice little setup. I only brought, I probably didn't bring about 25% of the stuff that I do have because I knew I'd be close and I knew that there was no need. And then here, got the electric shower, another seven gallon jug of water and bathroom and shower right there. So pretty good setup. So here at the Hilltop Campground in Mount Charleston, and I'm going to go get a charge actually. I have 40%. I might not even really need to, but I'm just going to go do it anyways. And uh, if you look, it says that when I get to the Grand Central Parkway supercharger, which is a 250 kilowatt that I usually go to, I'll have 45%. So I'll actually have 5% more than what I have. Now it is pretty much all downhill. And that's probably why when I came uphill yesterday, why I used so much more energy. Um, Cause I had like 90% when I, when I came, but I did end up driving all around looking for a camping spot and all that stuff. So at, you know, 39% right now, we'll see it says 45% when I get there. So let's see if that's accurate. If I actually gain five or 6% on the way to the supercharger going downhill. So I will uh, check in with you when I get to the supercharger at Grand Central. Also, one thing I want to mention before heading out here, it's 79 degrees, which is actually pretty warm right now here. And let's see what we get. We'll see what we get as far as temperature, what that is on the strip and the percentage that we get when we get there. So again, we're leaving with 39%. says we'll arrive with, 40, uh, with 45%. And which will actually gain 6%. And then it shows, yeah, that it's 80 degrees and uh, it'll be a lot hotter, I can guarantee that. All right, so now we're heading down the mountain from Mount Charleston and we're gonna head back into Vegas for a little bit. I just wanna get a full charge so then I don't have to worry about it till Monday. It's Saturday about noon right now. And so I'd rather just get it done with now. Uh, it's getting a little hotter too, so I'm like, well, I'll go. I'm going to go into even a hotter area, uh, probably by 20, 25 degrees, but I'm going to just do that real quick and then head back to camp and I already have everything set up. So should be nice, easy, little quick charge and then back up to the top of the mountain. I love these drives. Like, look at this. It's just amazing. I can see on the screen that it's green. So that means I'm getting power or I'm getting energy as we go down the mountain. I'm not having to use any, any accelerator. I think elevation wise, we were around 8,500 feet at the campground. into the valley again 
So it shouldn't be, it's only 29 minutes to the supercharger right next to the strip. And I will charge up there and I'll update you on the battery percentage and the temperature outside as soon as I get there. I don't know if you guys can see it out there, but there's a little uh, dust devil, little dust tornado type thing. Well, it looks like it's starting to dissipate a little bit. All right, about 10 minutes from the Grand Central supercharger and it's 106 degrees. So yeah, about a, what, 26 degree difference? I can't remember what it was. I think it was like 80 when I left. And in the distance straight ahead, you can see the new Circa Hotel, which is downtown. I've not been there yet. Went to Resorts World grand opening night. But I've not been to Circa yet. I don't go down to downtown Las Vegas too often. Turn right onto South Martin Luther King Boulevard. All right, we're at 41%. So it went up 2%. Uh, we'll probably get there with about 40%. So it wasn't the 45 that they that Tesla claimed. But again, that's probably due to the cargo box on the roof. And we'll be taking a left up here to go to this little, out, it's this like higher end outlet mall. And that's where it's Grand Central. That's where we'll uh, charge up at the 250 kilowatt supercharger. This is the one I probably go to the most because I usually turn left onto West Bonneville Avenue because I usually don't have to wait, and uh, it's 250 kilowatt. Now turn left onto West Bonneville Avenue, and it's easy to get in and out. Whereas the Link supercharger, the one right on the strip uh, behind the Link Hotel part of Caesars. That one is huge. It has like 60 or 70 different stalls. Problem is that it's always packed, especially on the weekends. So I haven't really had to wait except for at one place. Um, otherwise, usually can get right in, but it is Saturday, so we'll see. In 500 feet, turn right. All right, so yeah, this is the Las Vegas Premium Outlets. That person has no idea what they're doing. Oh, please tell me. Nope. Oh, you're waiting. All right, so gotta wait, unfortunately. I only had to do this one other time. All right, so we are up to 93%. See there. And uh, I put in the campground address. Shows that we would have 61% when we get there. So at 93, I might wait a few more minutes, but it's not really gonna matter. And then again, when I come back, it really doesn't take any energy to get back here because it's all downhill. So, so overall, gained a little bit of percentage. Nothing spectacular, but at least got like an extra 20 or 25%. And that'll come in handy because I don't plan to come back to town until Monday when I actually leave the campground. So. All right, so just leaving the Grand Central Parkway Supercharger here in Las Vegas. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at I just want to say that I feel that our love is real Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal
wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Alright, so we lucked out, that is for sure. We ended up getting the prime spot at this campground. As you can see here, got a little fire pit. And I like that it's not dirt around it, that it's actually concrete, because otherwise it just gets so messy after days and days and days camping. Got the shower, everything over here. Real quick, that's where I'm gonna park, right there. I'm just getting ready to leave, that's why I'm parked in front and then put the cone right there. But, and then over here, and then check out this view. So tried to go to lunch at the lodge, but it was so packed that they were like not even seating anybody. So decided to come back to camp and throw out the jackery and the solar panels and get going on a burger. So yeah, you can see the setup. Everything's working great. Almost done. Boom. Just an update here on the jackery too after I just got done cooking that meal, that burger. Uh, it's currently got the solar panels out, taking in uh, roughly 150 watts. Uh, don't have anything on right now, so no output. But yeah, 90%, so. That should take about, I don't know, maybe an hour or two, and it should be full, probably about an hour. All right, so thought I'd do a little uh, ending to this episode. Um, man, you cannot beat these views, look at this. It's been like this like all week, just like perfect weather. It's like 75 and sunny every day. And this area, is just, it's 30 degrees cooler than Vegas, and it's 45 minutes to Bellagio, so. Uh, definitely will be making a few more trips up here. All right, so thanks for watching this episode. And if you haven't already, please like this video. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe if you're interested in these types of videos, uh, traveling, things to do with Tesla, EVs. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. So until uh, the next video, I mean, look at this. Hopefully we get uh, even better scenery next time.